What? This one I'm gonna hop on? Yo, uh, uh, uh. It's the comment section podcast on a Saturday, nigga. On a Saturday. He got me fucked up with this beat, but I'ma kill the shit anyway. Look, look. LA on some other shit, but it's all good. Oh, you gonna change it all? No, you got the goddamn. Nah, man. We still got it. It's still there. We, we continuing it, man. We continuing it. Uh, yeah, we on right now. We live right now. Hey, welcome back to the Comment Section Podcast. We had a brief intermission, some technical difficulties that we ain't really fixed, but we worked our way around it for the, for the time being. Um, so you're going to have to grab that mic. That mic's not even on right now, so you're going to have to grab that. You're going to have to share that, and we're going to mix that together. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's all good, man. Yeah, you in there? Out of here. Say something else. Say something else. Check, check, check. This nigga's out of here, man. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to bump you up just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to put y'all up high so then, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to have to share, though. You sleep because you ain't hear me. Look, yeah, man. That's why I said on, so. change. You don't know what the fuck going on, man. Y'all going to have to share. Sean's just waking up. Uh, we, we're joined this this half of the, of episode 21 by a couple other uh, really amazing people. Uh, one of them is uh, actually one fifth of Empire X music. Um, I wish I had my round of applause, but we'll just do that right quick. Hey, hey, shout out to Empire X music. Uh, we got Mackie Dave in the building. What's Mackie up, Davis yo? here. Hey, 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 what's up, yo? Yep, snap it up, yeah. snap it up. Uh, also, uh, we have a return guest. We have a return guest. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Mackie, say something on your mic real quick. Introduce yourself. Yeah, yo, yo, this is Mackie Dave. You know what I am. You're going to not want to speak in the top And he of the sells mic, pussy, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh yeah, what up, y'all? This there you Mikey go. There Day. you go. You sound a sound a Told sound you sell pussy. Mackie Day sell pussy. Nah, you sell nah, pussy, bro. Nah, nah. Can't really talk about it. Nah. It's cool. I get it. Um, yeah. All right. So Mackie Day's mic is live. Uh, also My- here. Go ahead. Sorry, you got something to say? No, I was just checking to see if the mic is mic straight. Sounds great. All right. You sound just like that the rest of the episode, and we're going viral, baby. All right. All right. Uh, we have another special guest here, return guest actually. Um, this return guest is coming straight from uh, representing Bloomington, the mean streets. Hey, you petty, bro. The mean, <laughs> the mean streets of B Town. Uh, nah, man, this is family right here. This cousin, uh, it's my nigga Breon. Breon's back in the building. Everybody say what up to Breon. Gang, gang. What's up, Breon? <laughs> Look at David yeah, face. David face it. I know, right? We're gonna keep the sound going for Mackie Dave. Oh hell keep the no! Keep going for Mackie Dave. Nah, Mackie it's Dave, right, you get a siren. Right. That ain't my applause. That's his applause. You get a siren. Oh, you want me to start over? No, I don't right, want to. That's no you right applause. there. That's you no, right there, no, Mackie no, Dave. No, and you get a. They don't fuck with me. It's alright. You get the explosion too, bro. Pause. All right. Um. Yeah. So uh, yesterday's episode got cut short. Or yesterday, the first oh, half of this episode got cut short because. Of some self technical difficulties with this bum ass uh, audio interface, um, we're using a different one, and this one is not recording all of our mics. So we had to stop and then uh, revisit it today, and we're joined by two other people. Can you have my phone right there, my brother? Yeah, I can. Uh, we gotta t- pick up from where we left. We're gonna pick at. up from where we are, where we left off at. I believe where we left off at. Yeah, I believe we left off on. Did we? Did we? Was it Aisha and Steph? Or were we talking about something else? No, we didn't. We didn't. I we didn't get into Aisha and stuff. Really I don't even think we really got into any topics. We was just kind of talking at first, um, because oh, we talked about the Millennium Tour. So we <laughs> we were talking about Raz B. Tech clown. Yeah. Did y'all go? Clown. Did oh, you? not hell, no, I ain't go. You didn't go? No. Okay. Mm-mm. My both my baby mamas did though. Both of them. Yeah, both of them together. No. Nah, okay. Hell no. Nah. I was trying to like fucking man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all go enjoy yourselves. I got the I kids tonight. I wish my baby mama's got along like Together. that. Together. <laughs> oh, they don't get along? I, I ain't gonna say they don't get along. Hey, we ain't gonna go on. He said, bro, we don't. Never mind. This ain't what we here for. <laughs> never mind. Hey, this nigga wild. Hey, nah, nah, man. We ain't gonna talk about that. I'd rather that. not. I, <laughs> I'd rather not. I'd rather not. <laughs> I just got on the show, man. <laughs> niggas like niggas in trouble. <laughs> niggas in trouble. Um, yeah. Uh, any any thoughts about Millennium Tour? You didn't go, Brian, did you? You didn't go. Hey, look. This is what I 
this is what I examined from Snapchat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because we saw the whole thing on Snap. I did. Yeah, I definitely did. I seen everybody had a list set but B2K. Mm. That's what I seen. Really? Yep. Even that, no, Chingy. A, hey, even Chingy had everybody up there, chicken head and right shit. Right Thurin. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I seen the, uh, hey, Ying ain't twins had the bitch shaking ass. Did they do the whisper? I heard, I heard Lloyd and what's her name was trash. Who? Lloyd and Bobby Valentino. I ain't hear that. You heard they was dope? Yeah, you know the hoes love Lloyd. And, and, I heard you know they so. Oh, yeah. Bobby Valentino up here all well, the I got, time. I got mine from Lee. Lee said that they Lloyd well, did some new well, shit. Well, you know, Lee got a different mindset than all the other women out here. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Bobby Valentino up here all the time, so they probably was tired of his ass. But, you know... Everybody else was good except for uh, D2K. Bobby V got some hits though, man. He, I didn't say he don't. I say he's up here a lot though. Is he? Yeah. He's, this nigga always up here. Word. Every three months. Every three of them? Like, yeah. like Flocka? Or like, uh, no, no, not Waka. Uh, Logic? No, the other light skinned nigga. What's the nigga from Houston? Oh, I'll Drink, just, Drinking my cup. Yeah, nigga. I mean, uh, Kirk O'Bain. Yeah, Kirk There we go. Banks. There we go. That nigga got a residency here for life. <laughs> With the one song, they still be having Drinking the one song. Club. Yeah, the New York. That's Club New York right there. Remember that song was popping. That was New York. Yeah, um, that's before I could get in the club. Nah, he was in the club, but we was all in the club at that time. New York was the spot, man. Before New York, rest in peace, Club Aqua. New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rest in peace, Aqua. Nigga. Top five, top five clubs. Never thought that Aqua would close. Top five clubs. Aqua. Aqua's number, number one. Yes. Cream. Cream. Ooh, Green. yeah! I'm talking about in the, in their prime, top five Gabby's. clubs in their prime. Gabby's, Green. I ain't never been to Gabby's. Gabby's. I ain't never went to Gabby's, but uh, hey, you heard? Hey, you ain't you ain't ever heard Gabby's wasn't cracking. Yeah, my, my parents went to Gabby's. That was my aunties and them going there. <laughs> hey, everybody went to Gabby's. You couldn't Where wait till you were old enough to go oh, to Gabby's. Damn, it's not even I mean, there. I used to I drop outside, my mom. I sat outside in the car when it was picking somebody hey, up. I used to drop Gabby's. my mom's off. Look at life. I used to drop my mom's off there. Looking like, oh, that's, that's yeah, it right there? there. It's cracking. Damn. See? I wish I, 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 wish I, I made that one. it to Gabby's, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I put Gabby's in the top five. <laughs> got just off, Just off legacy. Hey, got yeah. to. Just off legacy. <laughs> just off the cream. legacy. Cream, no, yeah. We was old enough for cream. Yeah. Karma. I was old enough for karma right at the uh-huh. end. And the one time I went there, right the it, end. Was, it was, was lit, but, with but not because... What was that called? Oh, that was uh, was that Lixer. epic? Nah, nah, because with the two sides, I seen a nigga get two sides. I seen a nigga get stumped out on both sides oh, of the club. Oh, same nigga. They followed the nigga to the other side. <laughs> I ain't David. really fuck with that though, bro. We went there that whole what year, Boston versus Lakers what was situation. It? Hmm? I don't remember the name. The two side club. What was it called? I what was that Lixer. shit called? Hey, no, it hey, wasn't. Hey, no. you can never not. What was it called, hey, Breon? Our first club we was able to go to was the sixteen plus was Access, nigga. I never was at I never that. Went there. Y'all didn't go to Access? Nah. No. Nope. Oh, if it was on the other side of the river, I wasn't. Hell no, it was downtown, thirsty, nigga. Oh, I, I hear about that then. I wasn't thirsty like y'all. I, I, was. Yeah, I was like, let me just wait, man. Shit, I was in there. I'll take this off for who? Siri? Technology taking over. They trying to fuck up the podcast and shit. Hey, Google and Siri ass interrupting. Man, don't worry about Google. Don't worry you, about you it. Ain't oh, you got, got Alexa. Google. My bad. You Alexa. ain't got Google, so Alexa don't even Siri. worry about Google. I got Siri. That bitch be listening at all times. Um, all right, so we got we off the club shit. M- m- what's your most memorable club experience? <laughs> Let's start there. I want to hear that. Let's, let's go to story time first before we get into regular <laughs> shit. It's Saturday, man. I wish we had some. Oh, you got some more Henny. Hey, I know mm-hmm. Levant. <laughs> oh, you got his? <laughs> Which one, bro? When we was walking in the... Uh, in the... Uh, in the... Um, the parking ramp, <laughs> no, I don't and you start doing uh, your little booty pop dance. I Whoa! Never, <laughs> I never did no booty pop dance. Whoa! Hey, so, he no, tried to no, claim no. it was a dance off of Jersey Shore or some shit. <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't play it twice. Is this nigga serious? You do you want to explain yourself? Bro, I'm talking about the fist pump dance, bro. He got me fucked up. No. Him and, him and Broderick was like, no, nah, nigga, that's what happens when you drink. That's what they try to say. That's what happens when you drink. What happens nigga. when you drink? Bro, that's the, that was the same day that joke came out. So that whole day was, nigga, I was getting, nigga, roasted. 
They was roasting me that whole day. So it was like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Nah, man. But yeah. Most memorable. Um, no, I, I, don't, I don't feel like we got clarity on what the fuck he just brought up. Bro, he was, it was, <laughs> bro, he, that whole day he was trying to make a joke. Him and Broderick was reaching that whole day. I did I did a fist pump off, mm-hmm. off what's the name. And it's like, no, nah, nigga, you shaking, you shaking your body, shaking your ass. And that's what they tried to, they, they ran with it. Yeah, he was drinking that day. He was drinking that night? <laughs> Fuck you, Kim. You was there, but you don't pay attention. Nah. So it sure. wasn't that, it wasn't too, it wasn't real life gay. It was made up gay. So because if it was real life gay, you would have been like, yeah, I remember, nigga, it was some gay shit. So if, he do, wasn't gay. if you do some gay shit in your dreams, are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, you gay deep down, nigga. You had a gay think? ass dream. You gay, nigga. Nigga had a gay dream. What's the gay shit you did in your dream? I did shit gay in my dream, nigga. What's the gay shit you did? Nigga, I ran from somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I was gay. I That's shouldn't have ran. Shit. I shouldn't have ran. Shit, yeah. I shouldn't have ran. I ran from the fight. <laughs> should have fought, nigga. Yeah, that's run. bitch shit. <laughs> that was funny. Um... Yeah, Where was we at? To, to yeah, go club ahead. Club story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Club story. All right, I remember a story, man. Spark the blunt. Hey, remember we had VIP up. all the time. I remember. Yeah, I remember. Remember that. we was cool, man. Remember when we wasn't <laughs> washed up, bro? I, I don't think shit. it's not us washed up. We just stopped being consistent and going out. Remember niggas. That's washed. what happens when you don't be consistent. Yeah. Washed. That's what that means. Nah, <laughs> Say it again, Breon. I don't go out because too many niggas getting popped, bro. Do the club thing. I do it sometimes though. Like I go out with y'all, mm-hmm. but or yeah. VIP. But if I ain't got VIP, I ain't going. Yeah. Scared to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I ain't scared of death, but I ain't trying to die right now. I just say get shot, nigga. You don't gotta die. Scared to get shot? <laughs> no. Skill set is hot. Skill set is hot. That's she all. burns. That's what my sister said. Skill set is just she said, hot as fuck. She started burning. Yeah, she said she was Hot running was and that shit was burning. <laughs> I'm not going to say shit. I'm not saying shit. Oh I'm not saying a fucking word. Yeah, I remember <laughs> I had walked in the club <laughs> one day, though. No, hey, I was about to say light skin <laughs> no. and a dark no, wait, skin. No, wait, no, no wait, no, wait. Hey, no, let Breon talk. Stop cutting people off, bro. No, this is a we, podcast, bro. <laughs> go ahead. We're All still right. on topic. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. So you know what I'm talking this, about it was this one time in the club. I had just got in the club, bro. It was this light skin and this dark skin. And I think they was friends, bro. Gave my ass a sandwich. I ain't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> gave my ass a sandwich? You got in from the club and she gave you a sandwich? Not a fucking sandwich. Not a real sandwich, nigga. They just sandwiched them, nigga. Oh, okay. I'm like, I'm I still like the man in that motherfucker, though. He eating booty every night. Every night. It's over there. The club. I'm eating it. Eating Buddha. No, go ahead. Sorry. If I go to the club and they got some food, what's I'm the wildest order. thing you've done in the club? That's what he's saying. What was the, the wildest, wildest thing wait, I've done in the club? Yeah. I remember you got snatched up, nigga, by the nigga, the bouncer. Nigga grabbed the nigga David by his dreads, nigga. Oh, I fuck. said, oh my God. <laughs> bro, I grabbed, a, I grabbed a, the bouncer. I said, come on now, bro. Let him just chill, bro. Just chill. Nigga grabbed David's head by his fucking dress. He just got them bitches he done. Was a I big knew this. Yeah, he was a big side. nigga. That's why I said I grabbed him. I grabbed him like, I, like I, grabbed, I, said, I, said, I said, come on, bro. Just chill. <laughs> I had on, my man. hand around like, hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. please, bro. Hey, because that like, nigga had his nigga. I'm like this, he had, man. <laughs> he had David like, oh, shit. <laughs> Ain't shit I could do. <laughs> what was you doing? Was you fighting? Yeah. There was no fighting. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened. What happened? I think it was mistaken identity. I don't know what happened. That's the story that I'm David sticking got to. Snatched up, <laughs> hey, nigga. I don't know what happened. David got snatched <laughs> up. It was mistaken. Was like you smoking it? or was what, what was going on? I don't remember. Oh, fuck. It was it was some shit that it was mistaken identity, bro. That's what it was. Yo, that's the funny. You know, shit. everybody wants to have dreads like me and shit. Smoking. Nigga got mistaken by. God damn. Yeah, man. You hey, feel a nah, lot of descriptions. Hey, I think man. the craziest thing I did in the club was when we went to a choice for uh, Ryan's birthday. <laughs> Good time in choice. Salute I spent so much money. How much? You, how much? You, how much? 
that, <laughs> across the street cl- from Sex World. That's yeah. a club. It's that's a not a club. club. That's a strip club. Strip yeah. club. It's a nigga. club. Yeah. Hey, I was. Hey, we went from they don't even. Hey, that. they don't have liquor there. They don't. I was. Just, hey, I had liquor there. You go to. You <laughs> gotta go to uh, stadium to get your liquor and then walk across the alley over to Choice. That, that's what I heard at least. Shit. I don't know what the stripper name was, but she had a bottle. Salute the strippers at choice. Bro, if you're a stripper at choice, oh salute to gosh, you. Oh my gosh, bro! At Ryan's birthday, remember I was I was bro. gone the whole time. Niggas was nigga having <laughs> niggas being taken away. It was it last was, year. No, no, this oh, birthday, is, birthday, yeah, birthday. Oh, this is years ago, man. I just wanted to put this back in my baller this days. Before, this is before the sun. There we go. Yeah, yeah that, that's the the I, wanted to, I wanted to put a timestamp on it for my nigga right here, man. My nigga L A. BTK before the kids. Mm, yeah, this is before the kids, or, bro. Or, and nigga. Or, Niggas was nigga getting nigga come come to the back. Well, that's some yeah. aged Hennessy. It was <laughs> aged. <laughs> Hennessy's aged. <laughs> like I, I like my liquor. Like I like my women. Shit, 1938. <laughs> some 83. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it over here, man. 2002, bro. Huh. Oh, I just got aged Hennessy. Yeah, man. Um, the rest of this episode is also sponsored by the same Hennessy bottle from yesterday. For real? Yeah. It was cracked open. Yeah, man. It was cracked open yesterday. Yeah. It, the sun was hitting it. Mm-hmm. We didn't do the podcast yesterday. Yeah, I did. I remember because I seen the uh, watching y'all live. You see that, man? Mm. Don't finish it, man. Go ahead. No, you go ahead, bro. Let me. I I take the last. <laughs> I I hit the bitch last. I drink the last yo shit for you, bro. Hey, I, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga David rude. <laughs> no, you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> once I get I'll it, ain't no coming up. back. <laughs> um, all y'all niggas is sick. club experiences. So choice, choice was a dope club. I got a, that's actually a wild club experience. I'll share that story. It was, it was so it was me, B Rod, DJ, Mike Dreams. <laughs> Definitely just, a wild story. Just to give it some context, yeah, that's your <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? We at stadium. We lit. Drunk. Just before I realized he nigga, had nigga had a club, problem. This nigga said it's not no, this was man. years. This was years ago. Still your this man. was before. Dre left him. So we had the strip club. Oh, we at we at the bar. We at the bar. We getting lit. Boom, boom, boom. We like, all right, we going to choice. Mm-hmm. DJ. Man, I ain't want to go to no fucking choice, man. I want to go to no strip club because it was a stripper that was in the bar taking shots with us. Because Mike knew her. So, boom, 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 we end up going over to, to Choice. This nigga DJ complaining the whole time. Man, I don't want to go see none of these bitches. Spending money on none of these hoes. Ain't paying for no pussy. I, I ain't doing that. all this shit. Boom, 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 boom. Nigga, uh, we're, uh, we get to the strip club. We pay, we get in. Get our little two, two sodas or whatever, a little Red Bull. We sit down. Five minutes later, we get to the main stage. We're on the main stage. Five minutes later, we see DJ walking to the back. With a stripper. Stripper in hand. Going to the back to get a lap dance. We're like, look at this nigga. The one nigga that was like, I ain't, I ain't paying for, for these pussies. Bitches. None of these hoes. All these, all these hoes is pop. First nigga. So we're like, all right, whatever, DJ. So me, B-Rod, Mike, we all at the main stage. This nigga, B-Rod, switches into another mode. Flip the switch. Flip, flip. This nigga's the funniest nigga to go to the strip club with. He got his little, he got his, his stack of whatever. How about stack we there? Wasn't a stack, but you know, it was a few dollars. Well, you said a stack of whatever. What, what does whatever mean? Wasn't a stack. Stack of 20s. Stack, stack of, of 20s? No. When I say stack, it was maybe like 25, 30 ones. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't much. Okay, it's balling. Choice. It's balling for choice. You got a choice with $50. You could, you could be the man. For like 45 minutes. I spent, I, spent, I ran up a check in there. I spent more than that. <laughs> more than that. Oh, you was paying tuitions? Yeah. Uh, I definitely did. Oh, you paid a phone bill. Paid a few classes. Mm, paid a phone I paid bill. for a few classes, man. <laughs> I paid a phone bill of that. Hey, I, I definitely spent about six in there. Why? 600? <laughs> Why? Don't, don't ask Whoa. Me. I was dr- getting drunk, nigga. Oh, yeah, they that. was getting you. Hey, getting hey. drunk off of what? I told you the bitch had a bottle in oh, there. Oh, she got your ass. You spent it all on one? No, so it was two of them. I, so I had, so look, so look, I had two. No, look, so look, I had two. It was two bitches. Hey, 
What? They had. Do you remember her name? I was dropping them. What's off. her name? I was dropping off both of them. What's her name? Wait. I don't remember. It was remember two bitches. Look. Round of applause to whoever that was. Bro, wait, wait. Black she was a stripper, David. Yes. Black China, and black she black. had bottles on the side. Yes. Was, and they don't serve no liquor there, do they? No. Uh -uh. And she was selling you drinks on no, the side. No, she wasn't like selling me drinks. I wasn't buying drinks. I was just drink. She was giving me the bottle, let me hit the drink. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I just kept coming out the pocket for both of them hoes. Mm -hmm. as they dancing and doing. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? They, you know what I'm saying? It was getting a little freaky. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. Mm -hmm. Hey, they got a little. Was, was they just dancing? Was it they, wouldn't was be me. I fucking? wouldn't be me if I didn't get a little nasty. You, you know licked the pussy? Saying? I ain't licked them pussies. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, I ain't licked the, I ain't licked the pussy, man. <laughs> Hey, I, hey, I did have a tit in my mouth, a couple <laughs> tits in my mouth, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't licked the twat though. Nah, uh -uh. Tits taste like cigarettes and shit. No. Titties old nigga before titties you titties be about, tasting good. The old white nigga before you was sucking on them titties. Hey, look, check this out. I left out of there a happy man. Are oh, they got you right? I left out of there a happy man. For How six, about y'all? For six hundred. Hey, <laughs> hey, everybody else that was there with me didn't leave as happy as I was. Hey, on some real shit, for six hundred, you should have fucked both of them shit. <laughs> hey, you niggas Twice. was buying pop. Huh? You niggas buying pop and juice and shit. Yeah, I was, was in the back with a bitch, two bitches. They had you in the room or just on the couch in front of you? They came up. They came up. They yeah, take you them. upstairs, bro. One more, one more round of applause for those young ladies. For them or me? Them, nigga. This nigga, he think... <laughs> you, thought, you think you won a title, nigga? You didn't do nothing, nigga. Hey, DJ sent them hoes in there. You're a DJ of Hustle and Flow? I it snap. was his bitches. Went up in there and got that 600 off your dumb ass. Hey, look. I hey, this Hennessy bottle, man. Hey, I was a Yo, young nigga. Hey, look. Nigga, spend some time, hey, I was man. a young nigga with, 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 a, with a check, nigga. I ain't get no fuck. No, I'm not mad at you, bro. I, hey, look. I'm not mad at all. Hey, tricking ain't... Ain't, it, it ain't tricking if you got it. It is tricking still, but I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at you, though. Hey. Sometimes you got to just trick, bro. We hey, all trick. I won't do that shit now, though. Huh? I won't do that shit now. Was tricking nah, they, that's because we old niggas now. We wash. We like, we like <laughs> niggas like, what? You want how what? much? Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'll walk out the door. I'll pass. You're not bad. <laughs> um, that's a wild story, though. That was my story. Yeah. Oh, no, that was your story. Yeah. It was yours. That, yeah, you told your story. Y'all both in the same spot. Yeah, choice. Who? Choice. Great spot. So you got a story? Very friendly women. Don't have a story. Sinners was another one that was dope. I just, I just get to this. <laughs> I never made it to Sinners. Sinners was dope. <coughs> hey, that, I fell in love with a stripper at Sinners. That shit was open for three months. T-Pain style. Oh Downtown Cabaret, though. Nigga, I thought it was meant to up? be. Downtown Cabaret? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, Sinners. Oh, you DTC? Yeah, that's shit. Tacos. Oh, God, yeah, the tacos, boys. Tacos, Indian tacos. Plane. Nah, regular when that tacos. Shit, that shit popping? That's tonight. It's 645. Mm-hmm. I'm going to the Indian tacos. <laughs> Let's get through these topics, then, man. We ain't really hitting none of this shit. Let's get into them. Um, all right, nigga. Goddamn, <laughs> nigga, get into them, <laughs> nigga. Quavo, nigga, wrap it up, then. <laughs> uh, Aisha Curry, Red Talk Table Backlash. If you haven't heard by now, Aisha Curry went on Jada Pinkett Smith's podcast uh, show, Red Table Talks, where they often discuss things surrounding mental health and uh, very vulnerable parts of celebrities' lives. And Aisha Curry went on and had some choice words about her own experience with marriage and uh, marriage and the the mental parts of having kids and whatever she was talking about. Uh, so we're gonna listen to what Aisha Curry has to say. As soon as I find this clip, let's see. Next one. Here it is. Uh, here it is. And like honestly, has given me a sense of a little bit of an insecurity is the fact that yeah, like there are all these women like throwing themselves, but me, like the past ten years, like I don't have any of that. Like I have zero. <laughs> this sounds weird, but like male attention. And so then, you like, I begin to realize. internalize it, and I'm like, is something wrong with you're me? Not, like, you're, you're not, not looking. looking. What? You're not looking. You're not even looking. But I'm going to tell you something else, too. When your radar's turned off, because I dealt with that for years, too, like, and I was young, like you. Yeah, I'm like, like, oh, my God. Fair. I mean, because I don't but, want it, but yeah. it would be nice to know that, like, someone's looking. But that when your radar's dangerous. turned off. <laughs> Right, that you can get real Don't dangerous. ever think for one minute that it ain't no some men out there looking at you like I wish. 
Honestly. And, and I'm gonna tell you who knows that more than anybody. And on <laughs> really bothers me and Yeah, so little piece of what the fuck she was talking about. Meanwhile, Steph's getting ready for game six. Whatever. It was game five. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was game five. Yeah. Uh so thoughts, thoughts on what she had to say. Sounds like some normal female shit to me, bro. Yeah. Is she wrong? Oh, what you mean wrong? Do you agree with what she said? I don't feel like she's wrong. Explain. I mean I feel like everybody has the title to feel whatever they want to feel. Yes, that's true. I mean, she can feel what she feels. I am not saying, you know, that she can, you know, because she, she's not perfect. I mean, she got everybody got something to work on. All right. But it is a shame that she is a rich woman with a, a husband that's known of curving a lot of women. Okay. Mm, to, you mean. know, you know, to be complaining about how come she don't get attention from other men, you know that you know. She ain't the only one. So do you agree or disagree with what she said? Oh, I disagree. But I just saying, you know, she's not wrong for feeling how she feels because she fit because she's her feeling. Okay. So I agree with my my guy right there. Yep, talking to the front of it. There you go. Go ahead, Brian. <laughs> I agree with him. Like, <coughs> she she got the right to say whatever she wants to think, mm -hmm. to feel, whatever. But, like, you can't be asking for attention from other dudes, like, when you in the whole relationship. And everybody know it. Like, I can see if didn't nobody know. I can see if didn't nobody know she was, like, if she wasn't famous, then I would feel like more dudes would try to get at her because, like, they mm -hmm. wouldn't know she was with Curry, but everybody knows she with Curry, so they ain't going. I mean, it's Steph's wife. Right. They ain't going to hop on that because we, we fuck with Steph. Rich. Okay. <coughs> no? What you got? What you got, Sean? <coughs> Jump in, Juice. <coughs> uh, well, um, I think it's normal, though. Like, they've been together for shit so long. Mm -hmm. It's normal to want some attention from somewhere else, but... In a sense, if you if you Steph, and we gotta assume that he was faithful, are you upset about that? Do yeah. you feel away? Yeah, if you Steph, yeah, I would feel the type of way. But I don't even know if I feel is. the type of way because I can understand we've been together for so fucking long. Of course, I'm curious that's about shit, other dude, shit. You should be too. You don't be voicing that shit in this type of world that we live yeah. in right you now. You should be voicing it on, on a public platform like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, that, that was a horrible place to say that at. Yeah. Shit like that. During the playoffs. But my thing is... Yeah, I'm like, getting ready for the game, bitch. You talking about some other niggas. That's not something playoffs. that should be spoken out loud to me. That's something that should be either... Either you gonna take action on that shit. Either like... You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying cheating is all good, but if you feel like you're going to need some other attention and you're going to do it, then go ahead and do it. If you ain't going to do it, mm -hmm. you're just going to tell your, your other person that you, and then they and they supposed to just step up and give you more attention, then that's what it is. But I don't feel that that's something that should have been said out loud in the public right. like that where we got TMZ and the shade room and, mm -hmm. and, and She should and be knowledgeable how, how the media and all this other shit. Too. Just mm -hmm. like that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was something that should have never been said out loud. You think Steph snapped on her ass when they got to the crib? Nah, man. You see his post? He made a post. Maybe. Man, what the fuck? You see his post? I it think he post. was mad because it's during the playoffs. Yo, like, God he's not damn. Mad. Bro, he's not mad. That's he, the only thing. For me, if I'm Steph, that's the only thing. Like, yo, during the playoffs, like, I'm trying to get ready for the game. You go, playoffs? I sent, playoffs I, sent, I sent the post. That's got to be a thing. Do this shit two weeks and ago. I sent the post he made. He made. He posted a picture of her, and he made a, and he made a, he had a little small post saying, you know, people looking for negative energy and all of this and this. Yeah. You know, he's sticking up for it, basically. So you know, he's not really. I seen a lot. I seen a lot of uh, a lot of women laugh, like joke on Steph for doing that shit. Oh, you soft. Oh, she run the shit. She could do whatever. You get walked over. This see this song. We don't want real man. But it's like, yo, I thought we were supposed to yeah. correct in private and support in public. Like, oh, what happened to that? What happened to that energy? Right. Ma. It's mixed, bro. It's mixed up. It's crazy. It is crazy. Um. Yeah, man. I guess some deeper context on who she is, like. If you if if you're with if because I guess they've been together since she was in high school so and shit right like they was yeah like so she never got to thought right 
So man. that brings me to my next question with this it's shit. Not. My next question is a ho- whole phase. Let's talk about whole phases. Have every, has it, everybody in here went through a whole phase? Is it real for men? Is a whole phase real for men? I think that's um. Was that a woman thing? What? Yeah, I think it is. Why? What do you think yeah. is scared? You you want to yeah. get past the mic then, nigga? Yeah, it is. You, are you you got a girl, bro? No. Oh, hey. so what the fuck is you? Hey, huh? it, it is, man. It's a phase, man. It's definitely yeah. a whole phase. Niggas do, but niggas do eventually hey, mature. Everybody has a whole phase. Everybody, Male yeah, and they, they ain't Don't just, just us. put it on men, man. It's just the pussy no, get hot. No, I was, I was saying, hot. I'm not. I was putting it on women more. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? No, so I just wanted to ask that. So, can, can you be with a woman who hasn't gone through a whole phase? <laughs> If she sees some mm. uh, uh, new nigga, that she be like, that's where I was getting, nigga. Steve Harvey like, wouldn't ask her. Wait, wait, nigga. Hey, Steve Harvey wouldn't ask no real shit like that. Don't fucking ever call me Steve Harvey again <laughs> in your motherfucking life, nigga. Damn. All right, nigga. You are Steve Harvey, but you. Got, but, hey, but sometimes you disrespect the sometimes God like you that, do nigga. run the line though, yeah, bro. So you, you do, do got to be careful, bro. Sometimes I do be like, you're getting, you're getting ball, Steve. I think I can steal that. One. <laughs> all right, bro. You, you Steve with the hair. chill, all right. Steve. Yeah, you got you, Steve. You lying in Steve Harvey, nigga, with the crispy shit. Before the before the before family feud, but look, that's funny. No, uh, I think niggas definitely, of course, go to the whole phase. I, I think everybody do, not not just niggas. No, if, no, no. If right a does. bitch ain't went through her whole phase, I can't fuck with her. Why? Because you gotta get that, you gotta get that shit out, Joe. Unless sister. you, unless you just, unless that's you, mm-hmm. and you mature, and, you, and that's you for real. Mm-hmm. But if we like. I mean, like at twenty one, how could you tell? I couldn't have dated a bitch who wasn't going through a whole. Phase. I was going through my whole phase twenty one, twenty two, so I mm. wasn't dating nobody. Mm. But nigga, like, man. Well, we could have whole phase together. But <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't be done and out of my whole phase, and you in your whole phase. You know what? No, I mean, that shit this, is not gonna work for me. Age, me at this age, I'm starting to realize the importance of a whole phase. Cause, man. You do got to get that shit out your system, fam. Cause I think a lot of, I think a lot of women do want to put like, like the whole phase. Like it ain't like you don't have to have the whole phase. Like it's, it seems like they want to be like you shouldn't be, you know, mingling like. All these hoes don't date. But they all want the same one. They don't want different ones. Come on, bro. They know how we they Wait, what? What'd you say? Say it again yeah. in the mic. I, we I, we can't really bad, hear you. My bad. My bad. No, I think that was that was I good. Know. That was they that was good. Say it again, man. Bad. You don't want to say it again? Man, I, I must know some ruthless hoes then, man. What you mean? Man, I know bitches that got this nigga and this nigga and this nigga and this nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how they live. Yeah. Yeah, bro. So it is important. Uh, I guess in a sense it can be. So do you think this is a, a, a manifestation of Aisha Curry not going through a hoe phase? Is this why she's craving some some other attention besides her husband's? I mean, could be, or it could be that that nigga just too busy, what? and that he don't give her no attention. Did she go to Davidson too? Mm-hmm. I don't know. She might not have went. To if she didn't go to Davidson, she, nigga, she didn't got hit before. Yeah, okay. if, if she didn't go to Davidson, then yeah, she had a whole face. <laughs> I'm sorry. Never if she wasn't me. right with him every step of the way. Yeah, when we get off here, nigga, I'm going to tell yeah. you about it. His parents was rich. His dad played in the NBA. No, she wasn't. Has Steph went through his whole phase? Come on, my nigga. Like Davidson days. I got drafted in the NBA. Bro. Yeah, I man. I can get any one of these bitches I want. You tell me I can get any one I want? Is there a layer of that to why she's they, feeling they, like they this? Because this they, shit. If they both ain't going, then it's coming. Mm. The urge is coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Boiling over now. He's coming. Too much like startle. The heat is coming. You know he was curving girls because remember he was putting. You know he was. He was hey, Tim Tebow. At the all you got to do yeah. is just keep yeah. Derek Fisher hold on, hold on, away from. Him. Yeah, that's yeah for sure. He was Tim Tebow at the NBA. Grab the mic. He was Tim Tebow at the NBA. So you know that stuff. That shit didn't die down. You ain't seen no more. You know God scriptures in his shoes and stuff like that no more. He you know. Nigga grew his hair out now, nigga. He's on one, nigga. Mm-hmm. Getting a beard. Mm-hmm. Nigga, he's nigga. She's fucking up. And he's he's frustrated. Well, hey, you know what's gonna happen? Hey, bitch, you know the vibe. You know, you know, <laughs> you know the vibe. I know you. Hey, man. All right. 
Um, if she becomes a free agent, I'm a free agent. Mm, Mackie throwing his hat in the ring. Yeah, Mackie Kodak. Hey, nah, I Already. ain't Kodak. Nope, ain't Kodak. nope, nope. Kodak on a whole nother level. <laughs> he disrespect. Um, do, with, does does knowing that does knowing that this is a mentality that a lot of women, because a lot of women were supporting her 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 thinking on this, her logic. Yeah, does this deter you from getting married ever? No. As a man, no. I mean, I already was like, I gotta be, I gotta be proved that we gotta like. Man, for me to get married, like she gotta show me, like it's gotta be without a doubt. We like, like, damn, man, I'm finna marry her because right now, it's right now, I'm not marrying nobody. Okay. So what would she have to prove? Everything. Hey, is it loyalty? Is loyalty the main thing about about it's marrying a woman? Hey. Are there are there levels to love? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Break down the love levels. What man. are the levels? Ooh. What's level one? See, look, 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 look. Brian, is it look, levels look, look. of love? Help them, help my nigga out, man. Y'all break down the love levels, man. See, look, see, look. Mackie and Brian, man. Hey, hey Mackie and Brian, y'all break hey, this look. shit down. Cause I did it before. But this nigga, man. Let's hey, go. see, you got love <laughs> at like the the beginning stage when you fucking with a female and y'all see each other all the time. So you know what I'm saying? You end up, you know what I'm saying, having some feelings. You know what I'm saying? You got that. What kind then, of love is that? That's that. Is that uh, puppy love? That's level one. That's level one. What level one. Is that puppy love? Uh, That's like that middle school shit. Nah, because you know y'all spending time. You grow, you grown up at this level. Grown, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Y'all spending time. Y'all seeing each other every day type shit. You know what okay. I'm saying? Uh-huh. Y'all don't live together though. But, you know but, it's but like, then it's you got 18, that 18, when y'all 20. move in together. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Shit. When you smell each other's shit. That's a different that's type a of love right there. You know what I'm saying? Is that the highest level of love? No. Is that unconditional love? No. Okay. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Because sometimes you're doing that for survival. Yeah, you know shit, what I'm saying? Boy. Oh, shit. Survival. <laughs> Surv- are you having sex with this person? For survival? If, if you live together, hell yeah. No, you're you having, having sex with this person for survival? It's survival. It's not, it's not unconditional so is this, love because it could be survival. So is this survival sex you're having at this point? Ain't no, no, it, no, it can't, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Are you wait, educated wait, wait, wait. on survivor sex? Are you aware of the Oh, I'm uh, definitely aware of survivor sex. Devastation is, is left you on know. people. Huh? <laughs> Do you know the mortality rate on, on, on survival sex? Can you put that on layman's terms? Oh, man, do you. Do, are you are you educated on survival sex? Yes, Somebody I know is what a, that uh, is. Right. Master of a survival sex. <laughs> so at this point, when you're living with, with each other, smelling each other's shit, and you're having sex, and you said that was for survival, is that survival sex? I said sometimes that can be for survival, okay. but yes, and if that's for, it, it but if that is for sex? survival, then yes, you're having survival sex. Okay, but yes. So if you really love each other, you smell each other's shit, you love and, you, and you're together. What is that kind of love? That is that's, that's level two. It depends on how long you've been together and how long you've been living it's together. Like, like, See, when like you first moving years. in and you living together, the first them first three years. So you got to make it past them first three years. This is after you know the first saying? three years. This is year four. Year four, we finna live together. So year that's, four is, is that level two? No, because the first three years living together, that's level two. After level two, oh, after so. the three years, then you get level three. Gee, so when you move in with so. <laughs> I, I done been with her three years. That's yep. my level one. When I move in with the bitch, I got to put that three years, and that's three years of level two right there. Yeah. Then I go into so, level three. What's level three? Level Break three. Level so three. level level two is living together for two years? Three years. Three, three years. Up to three years. Yeah. yeah, yeah level yeah, one yeah. is everything before moving in. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's that everyday seeing each other shit. Yeah. yeah. Really putting shit in respect of me. I ain't love Yeah, yeah this is great. I don't love yeah, nobody. This is great, man. Come on, let's go ahead. Oh, shit. And then, <laughs> y'all niggas fucked up. I ain't like, shit. Hey, I've been in love, man. I've I, I done this shit, let's man. Go. I can't live A few with times. Me. All right. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, so then, uh, after home, that, man. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you make it past them first two, three years, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, then. That's level three, you know what I'm saying? That's then that's three. when that's unconditional, you know what I'm saying? That's when y'all really, 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 y'all throwing barbecues, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got a kid. So have you had a kid during level two, or is, 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 is level hey, three, look, what's, see, the, what's the see, turning point from level you two You might have came in a situation with a kid, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. You might have came in Shit. a situation with the kid, and if that other and if it ain't that other person's kid, by the time it's level three, then shit, it feels like it's that other person's kid. You see what I'm saying? Damn, bro. And I'm going to leave it there with that. We're going to do the love. We're going to do love on a different level time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but anything you got to chime in on that, uh, Brian? Nah, I'm, I'm, I agree with everything. We're going to do love. Another, oh, I agree with everything. I mean, he, What's your, yeah, you sure? He was spot on with that he shit, was, man. Hey, accurate. 
Yeah, like you got any fuck, rebuttal bro. to that? You got anything <laughs> that you want to add to that at all? Man, I love love, man. Fuck war, make fuck peace. war. <laughs> Keem, what about you, man? Have you have you broke down your levels of love yet? That makes sense. Um, what about your levels, man? You want to break it down? What's your perspective on? They already got people. Already got my my perspective. Do they? Perspective? I already broke my shit down. Right. That one episode. Nah, nigga. <laughs> you ain't on, talking about bro. no Y'all levels. Go back to level six, le- episode sixteen. I'm you ain't talking about no levels, level nigga. <laughs> you, think this, you think this is the first time we talked about levels of love? No, but yeah, you ain't talking about him, though. He kept asking you. He kept asking you to break it down, and you ain't want to break it down. Oh, you asked him to break it down. He ain't want to break it down. Hey, Sean, that's how it went. Yeah, okay, bro, well then you right then. Well then that's already, well then I, that, my energy toward him then, nigga. Bro. What's your levels of love, nigga? Yeah, bro. He hey, this nigga know the levels, bro. He don't. Hey, if he anybody the, know the, the levels, know the it was the first day of school when I he first saw vibe. you. Oh shit! Let's go. This nigga wrote a love letter. Hey, oh shit! You know the vibe, but do the vibe know you? Hey, come on, bro. Tell us the levels of love, oh, bro. Oh shit! Let's go, bro. It was the first day of school. They've been asking it. <laughs> when I first they, saw they, you, they shall receive. This is Dr. Love, L.A., speaking. Dr. Love. They want to know the levels of love. See, I hear Sean keep using that word conditional, unconditional. See, I feel like unconditional love is the love that if you finna go down, it's going down. Them white people busting through that dough, and you got to go. And what she know? Not a damn thing, or she knows something. That's unconditional love, my brother. Anybody understand what he just said? See, what he said was, a bitch that ain't going to drop a dime on you. That's unconditional. That ain't going to tell on you? That's unconditional. To the cops? Anything. That's unconditional. The bitch that got your back. She gonna keep your secrets. See, you saying he was looking for loyalty. He was talking about loyalty. He was talking about loyalty. See, I understand loyalty. You know, hold on. Here's another thing. Unconditional. No, I got questions about the first thing. All right, go ahead. You got a lot of secrets you need to keep. No. (laughs) So why does that? Why does that matter? What are you talking about? You said she won't drop a dime on. I said them people come in the door looking for you. What people? Nigga, stop playing. You black. You fucking black. You fucking Muslim. That's what I'm trying to... Nigga, break it down, man. What you mean levels, bro? We can't talk about levels. What the fuck is the first level of love? Bro, the first level of love is, nigga, I like you. (laughs) That's the first level of love? Okay, okay. I guess. Break that down. When is that? middle school? I thought I like you was the first level of love. Nigga, everybody say I love you, nigga. Motherfuckers say I love you regardless of anything. They don't, a lot of niggas say I love you and don't mean it. So what the fuck you talking about? Hey, I like you. That's that's the first level of love. I guess you got to like somebody to love them. I like you a lot. Maybe. Maybe. I like you. Maybe. And I want you. I like you. (laughs) We can do this the easy way. What's level two, bro? Oh, we can do it the hard way. No level two of love, bro. You don't know it. Nah, bro. What the fuck? I can just tell you. I can just tell you. This and this is where we was at last episode. How the fuck you don't know level the second level up? So you on level one right now? Ooh, I don't even know if it's a, it's a whole bunch of levels. Oh, so you don't know nothing about the levels of love. Hell no! I just thought you loved somebody what or you loved you them on? unconditionally. What level do you think you're on? <laughs> if, yeah, if there was five levels, what level do you think you're on? Me? Yeah. Oh shit! Three and a half. And a half. Whoa, it's a little low. Damn, you, that's high. <laughs> that's high. Yeah. Yeah. Three and a half. That's more than five. Half. So, okay, break down. What is three? What is three and a half? What? No, you. You, you said three and a half. Yeah. Where's three and a half? What is that? Nigga, that's. Can you break down what that is, or? Nigga, can that's you. What, nigga, that's 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 that's, that's, that's competing with unconditional. So, so there's conditions on your love. Hey, three and a half oh. is almost. They almost had a White House and a picket fence. You feel me? You almost there, bro. Two kids and a dog. Shit. Like it's one more bump, we get to one more bump, nigga. Then guess what? It's like what? You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you niggas ain't got nigga no kids. Get, That's why y'all get through understand. one more bump. What kind of bump you gotta get through, nigga? Like, relationship <laughs> bumps with people, like shit happens. Like this nigga think you y'all know, doing like, drugs all right, together. All right, so look at yeah. So look at. Do one all more right, bump together. What if um? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do some two. We'll do it, but no, we don't <laughs> free base. <laughs> we do, do not do no free base. <laughs> hey. May do some reefer, <laughs> a little reefer. 
that smoking white devil is no longer part of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm talking about bumps, like you know, like how you come through a bump when you like you, when you hey, split up. We get through this last bump. <laughs> we got one more bump right here on the table. No, you know, like you got bumps in, in relationships. We got bro. one more. We get through this last one. This nigga King. Marry your I ass. Said, I didn't say this last one. I just said like we get through one more, like last one. So like give me an example of a bump real quick. Nigga, like I said, like if y'all split up that first time or the first person cheats. Ooh, yeah, you cheat. cheat. Or if you That's you know, ooh. or if you you know you uh Are you taking your girl back after nope. she <laughs> Brian, you see his face? Wait, wait, wait! No, are you taking your girl back? No, no, no! I'm not. I don't fuck with. He's like, this is where we disagree. <laughs> no, Bria. hey, that's she where, cheap. hey, that's where I would say a bitch is stronger than me, cause, cause they could take a nigga back after cheating. I'm Mad not times. doing it. No. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So it's even like the slightest level of cheating, or no? What, it gotta what do you be mean? Like he hit. Okay, like we, we, hey, we pulled up, the Nick, we if, smoked, hey. and then I, we kissed a few times. That's it. That, that ain't cheating. But okay. I'm gonna be real upset. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be real <laughs> upset. I'm gonna be Kiss mad as way, fuck. Nigga. You know right, what I'm she, saying? She hit, he hit, he fucked. Oh, that's cheating. Man. Ain't no way around it. She yours, she homie. Gone. No, yeah, she is his. She I, yours. I she said she, she just got some head. No. Oh. She, she just got some head. I she eat just that pussy. Why you need another nigga to eat that motherfucker? She just got some head, nigga. No. Why what you mean? be needing other bitches? If I got if dick? I if I got some head, if I told you I got some head and from another I bitch. <laughs> be if, real though. If I told you I got some head from another bitch, she'll be mad. What? Yeah. So what the fuck you mean? Get she can just go ahead. That, 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 that's double edged sword in this <laughs> motherfucker. How the fuck you gonna say you can't do nothing but then do the shit? How would you want her to react if you got some head? Though? The same way that I'm finna react. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that's all <laughs> fair. What? That's all fair. That's all fair then. Hey, that so you wouldn't go do it, right? What so you, you won't go go get no hit nah, from the other bitch, right? That, man. You wouldn't, right? I don't, I don't do that. I said you wouldn't. I don't cheat, bro. But what I'm saying is, look, man, if a bitch cheat on me, I can't take her back. Now, if I do it, I apologize. And if you take me back, then, hey, I ain't going to do it again. <laughs> now, if I do it, I apologize. I, apologize and, and I ain't going to do it again. I ain't going to do it. But if I do, I'm sorry. If you take me back, already, I ain't going to do it again. But look, I'm not ah, taking no shit. back. He said, I'm not doing it back. I'm gonna have to say, hell no, nah, boy. Fuck you talking about. I ain't you finna be no motherfucking. <laughs> I ain't finna be no goofy. What about you, King? Negative, sir. Can't I'm, do I'm it. I'm taking her back, bro. That's that dark skin Pins shit, man. Have, have you before? Huh? Have you been cheated on before and took her back? Huh? <laughs> I mean, not uh, in life, not like now and shit. I'm saying, look, in my life, if it happened, I would take her back. But it, a girl cheated on me, yeah, but I didn't. But me now, I w you know, I, I know people. So you got to learn to grow. And you got to be able to to deal with people because, you know. So you on level cheated. five, love. Who, me? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, like you, <laughs> I'm on different love with everybody, man. <laughs> that sounds unconditional. That sounds real unconditional. <laughs> <laughs> Cheating is a hell of a condition, nigga. That's it the worst who condition she is, ever. bro. That's all that it is. It depends on who she is. You just can't be just a girlfriend. Okay. You know, it got to be a girl that you know, that you know for like a long period of time. Yeah. If your wife cheat on you, then yeah, that's different. But girlfriend. Uh, if my wife cheat on me, we getting divorced. <laughs> hey, we got to pause this shit real quick, bro. <laughs> shit. Your shit, nigga. Yeah, so what's up, man? What's the next topic, bro? <laughs> so all right, we back, man. We back. We back. We man. back. We off level. That was good, man. That was good. Uh, uh, what's what we got next? We got. <clears throat> is that it? Is that it about uh? Oh, yeah, that's it. Let's go. Couple uh, so school. We going school. We going music, or we talking about some other shit? Cause Tiffany Haddish brought chicken wings, fried chicken to the Met Gala. Was it hit? It better been some. What the fuck does that mean? Chicken. She was she was cooning. So what, she gave that to everybody or something? Wait, wait, she, like, had, had it. it. Or she had her own personal fried chicken. She had, like, fried chicken. Like, it was a prop for her. Like, it was just real. 
Yeah, that's uh, lame. That's cool. I think that's lame. That's reaching. Right. Right. Nah. Fake chicken shotty. Here, go right here. Fucking yourself up. Welcome back to this nation. Hey, 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 so we talked about a lot with the Met Gala, y'all. Is it- Fake chicken, though, shotty. Bro, for real, we don't give a fuck about that. When you chicken. first heard this theme, keep it real. Did you think there was like hiking boots involved? Girl, I thought I was going to get to wear a t shirt, some walking shorts, and some boots. Call it a day. Bring some chicken. I still brought chicken just in case. Hello. Okay, open that back. Uh, Tiffany, oh, can I have a piece? Is that for later? Piece of chicken? Yes, I want to Nah, nah, that's for me and Chris and everybody, you know, in case so that the food ain't right. I went ahead and made some chicken in my hotel room. Okay, I freaking love you. Not that I didn't love I, you, I'm ready. Last chicken. year I was starving. Last year it could have been a disaster. Feed you in there? You think with all this money? We all models or something. So I said, you know, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm going to bring some chicken. No, I have to ask you. Today was a big day. Good girlfriend. If anybody looking for one, I'm always going to have something for us to eat. Today's a huge big deal. It's the Met Gala, but Meghan Markle also has. Yeah. Was it real chicken? It was real chicken in her bag, her purse. Like three of them, four pieces. I mean, she ain't have to say nothing though, but that's fine that she bought it, but she ain't have to say shit. What'd you she say? Her nigga and she pulled she that had chicken. the hot sauce. Nah, it wasn't no hot sauce on it. She ain't got no nigga. That's why she had the chicken. She thought she a good girl for that bitch. Ain't no good girl. It just feel like what the fuck? Like, come on, man, really? Black people shit. That's that's, black people shit. that's where you going to get a laugh? You going fried chicken? Black people? You going there? Like, is it that? <laughs> that's the lowest hanging fruit ever. Like, come on, man, do something different. Like, uh, come on, man! You're a comedian, aren't you? You just gonna go there? It just felt real. Kevin Hart, you sure didn't know how to pick him. <laughs> yeah, man. See, I see what Cat Williams was talking about. <clears throat> Damn, was Cat right, huh? Uh, yeah. So she's uh she was she was a clown for that. Um. <laughs> oh, she got a movie on Hulu. Yeah, with some white dude. <laughs> Word. David, you seen All American? I was just about to get to that. I ain't seen that. But you ain't I seen the movie, all, the show All American? Was it a Netflix show? It was football. So the it's comment, the so the comment section podcast has been uh, indulging in this new show on Netflix called All American. If you haven't heard of it, uh, it's on Netflix it's called All American. It's about a, a high school senior uh, who is from uh, inner city LA. And he is a football star who gets recruited to leave his school and go play in Beverly Hills and pursue his uh, next level uh, uh, career as a football player. And then there's a lot of subplots about who this coach is that recruited him. Is he his dad? Is he not his dad? He knew his mom from a minute ago. He was like about to like fuck his sister, who was not his sister, but it could have been his sister. But they was it was so it's a lot of like it's a lot of a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of crazy shit, um, and it's like about football and shit. So it's like you know what I'm saying, all of that. So we've been uh, we've been on that shit for the past couple of weeks. I definitely gotta binge watch that program. shit. I'm on like eleven. It's only one season. Something like that. Yeah, it's one season right now. Yeah, I gotta get a get a little. <clears throat> yeah. Gotta get a little thick. Fuck with Game of Thrones. No, I ain't seen none of that. <laughs> None of it. Yet, None of it. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to watch that too. Say say it again, Dave. Give us your give us your Game of Thrones take. Mackie has a Game of Thrones hot take that he wants to share with the people. It's white boy soft porn. Game of Thrones is what? White boy soft porn. All right now, unpack that statement. It is white boy porn, but it's not like having sex. It's just well, they having sex, but they. Uh, not showing nothing really, and they going through all these play motion, like all this dumb. It's soft. It's, it's weak as hell. So I can't get see. <laughs> see, I can't get into the app. I can't get into the motherfucking show because the first episodes of the fucking first season is soft porn. You know what I'm saying? White boy soft porn. Get, you know what I'm saying? Weak ass porn. You know what I'm saying? Weak ass porn. So you would no soft porn rather yet. see hardcore porn. I'm not watching porn right now. I, I didn't turn the TV on to watch porn. <laughs> I'm not watching porn right I now. Like, when I wouldn't watch, watch I porn, I'd watch porn. 
But that's not what I want to watch so, the game. That's not what I'm expecting. So you that's were you were offended game, by the level of nudity? You you were offended by the level of nudity in Game of Thrones? No, I was. Look, if it was some decent porn, then it'd be good. But it was it was whack. What you, so, what, it was like, well, so what do you mean? Like, explain what you mean by this. decent porn. So if you're gonna have the porn, let it be some good. You like porn. the actual scene, like how they shot the and scene. Girls had no ass and no titties and stuff. Man, like if you're so gonna have could. some porn in it, make it be some good porn. It's like medieval. You were, you just want to just, hey, cut, hey, cut, bring in Pinky. This nigga said, hey, this is some medieval porn, though, bro. We shooting, we shooting Game of Thrones. We shooting Game of Thrones. Cut. Big bosoms and shit. Bring, <laughs> nigga, cut. Big bosom. Hey. What if, a bitch with the big bosoms nah, and the red nigga, hair? Nah, nigga. Roxy Reynolds is an extra this season on Game of Thrones, man. She, she's one of the whores in the, in the brothel. Is that what you want to see next season? Oh, they had the midget. The midget. Fu- the first, oh, oh my gosh. So, nigga, the midget fucking the bitch. Yeah, the midget gets it in. Midget's a real, midget's a real nigga, though. Huh? Proud of that shit? Am I proud of that? Yeah, you said it all like, yeah, the midget gets it, gets it in. Nah, he does. White if you watch, if you watch porn, the show, he be getting it. That's what he's known for. But he grows, though. His character Look, grows from that. That's what he's known for. His well, character. He does it all throughout the goddamn motherfucking show. <laughs> yeah, throughout the whole, throughout the whole world, bro. That's, nigga, that's he what he does. fucking bitch. So he's a part of, like, the royal family. Like, his family is in power. And so he just fucking be hoes. going to cities. Like, that's he's a midget, so he's not, like, a fighter. And, like, they look down on, on you if you a midget back then. So it's like, he don't really fit in nowhere. So he just be fucking hoes. Don't and his brother's, like the, his brother's like the, the, arm, the army the veteran and shit. Yeah, so it's like characters, like that's why you know what I'm saying it's a reason why. But then as the show progresses, like he, you this? he finds he fi- he more he finds himself in. He was texting. What? He was not even into the conversation until he what you just started start saying, and he said, "Wait, what?" He is what? a midget. Yeah. In a Game of Thrones. He's a midget. That's what he's known for, bro. And he walk around. He walks around just fucking bitches. Now, yeah. I mean, not just walking around, but yeah. Travels from village to village, and his his mission is that his mission. Like I'm going there. <laughs> I'm going to get on the hoes. You know I mean, what I'm on. If, he, he on if you want to find that nigga in the first three seasons, just find where the whole house is at. Find where the hoes is at. He's there. They show it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. <laughs> That's white crazy. boys saw porn. That shit. That's white people it's shit. A, it's a, it's white a small piece of the show. White boys saw porn, It's fam. a small a piece of the show. Midget. It's porn you can show on TV. It's a small. Bro, they're gonna try to use little kids being his character it's on a, Halloween and shit. No, you know they are. Watch, what the fuck that got to do with the show? Nigga, he was running around fucking bitches, and you got this third grader Why? trying to go to the whorehouse. Don't have your kids watching <laughs> fucking Game of Thrones, nigga. You know them kids is watching that shit. Be a parent. Now you want niggas to be a parent. I always want niggas to be a parent. Ah, now you want niggas to be a parent. Now. Always. Yeah, Which way this blunt going? This way. Damn, it's a small piece of the shit, man. It's not all. It's not like the whole shit is centered around him. He ain't the main character. There's literally, shit, shit there's be. look, look, check this out. There's literally seven storylines going no, the on first at the five same time. Minutes he's fucking. It's one storyline, bro. That's it's seven storylines going, bro. Bro, he's fucking. Hey, all my game, all my Game of Thrones people, man. Holla at these niggas, man. All my Game of Thrones people, man. Let these niggas know what it is. What y'all missing out on, bro? Hey, I feel you because I felt the same way. I just started watching shit last year. And this shit been out since like 2013. Hey, I tried to watch. I just I really started watching it last to. year. Hey, I, I didn't, really wanted to. I turned it on, bro, and I was really going to sit there and how many, binge how watch that you, shit. You got through one episode? No, I didn't get to it. You didn't even get through I the episode? Get through, no, I didn't get through oh, it. Oh, so you didn't even give it a try. I did. No, you didn't. He kept fucking. Bro, it wasn't that long, man. They kept fucking. It wasn't that long. <laughs> it's, it's a three episode rule, bro. Any new episode, any new show you try, you got to three episodes. They kept I, fucking. I promise, if you get through three episodes and you don't want to keep fucking. watching, G. They kept fucking. Oh, I'm bad in the first three episodes. It's not, bro. We can watch it right now. I'll log into my shit right now. Bro, he didn't even go log out. What? He said log in. We record right now. Once we get done, I'll show you. I'll show you the first episode. It's not that much. The first episode probably an hour. They're all about an hour. I don't know if I can give it. I had a lot of time last year. Bro, you don't want to give it that, bro. I had a lot of time to get into some uh, some shows and shit. I didn't didn't really... I ain't really... uh, (laughs) What? I've been going crazy since nah, I in the fucking house. Whatever, man. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is dope. That shit trash. This new season is lit. White boy soft porn. Salute to Arya. What else you got? What other topics? It's all good. I'm gonna start my own Game of Thrones podcast on you bitch ass niggas. Good. And if you and your motherfuckers can 
Schoolboy Q dropped the album. Has everybody heard it? Yep. What do you think? I heard a lot of songs My off of it. Song on there is lies. I like the chopsticks joints, man. That's good. The chopsticks joints hard. There's <laughs> another. There's a couple other ones I like, but that chopsticks joint hard. Floating is dope too. Yeah. I ain't really got no favorite yet. Not I yet. still like num num juice though. Num num juice is hard. Uh any deep dives on it? Uh you know? Nah, I ain't got into it yet. <laughs> no deep dives on it. Still waiting on the big Sean album. T D we are definitely still waiting on the big Sean album. Sean, what the fuck is going on, man? <coughs> What's going on? It's almost the summertime. What what are you doing? You're not dropping the summer. He's gonna wait till the fall. Does he want that season? I don't know. Is he waiting on Kendrick to drop? Maybe. Is everybody waiting? Is this like free agency? Like everybody waits on the the biggest fish to drop, and then everybody else makes their moves, or is this, or is everybody just not know? Because it's supposed to have been. Like I thought, I thought a lot more music would have been out by now, right? Like a lot of people was promising to drop. Ross was supposed to drop this year sometime. Sean, Kendrick. Maybe they flood in the summer. But it's April, it's May. If you're gonna flood the summer, it's already the song's gotta work. Mm-hmm. Cardi ain't dropped none yet. That's because these young motherfuckers, these new motherfuckers it's coming in. Different, bro. <clears throat> it's only different. The stream is gonna go different. It's gonna make it go work. The song's hotter. It's gonna take the summer. Mm. Different. Uh, is Schoolboy's album uh in the early discussion for album of the year? Of the few albums that came out this year? So far? Two chains still leading it. Two chains dropped. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Say what, Brian? Two chains did go crazy. Hmm? Two chains did go crazy. Yeah. When was the last time he came out with an album? Two chains before this year? Yeah. Two months before that. No, it was the Pretty Girls Like Trap, right? Oh, yeah. No. No. Mm-hmm. So Logic dropped the album today. I don't even really listen to him though. Nah, I, I seen that he. M&M, though? Do, I seen uh, I seen a couple of things about it. So I, Charlemagne gave him Donkey of the Day because <laughs> he uh he had said some shit. So there's a song on his album called Clickbait, and he uh, somebody playing something. Oh. It's a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I really just asked because I, I was hearing some shit and I'm like, <laughs> uh, God damn. He said some shit about Charlamagne on a song Clickbait and Charlamagne got gave him Donkey today. And I ain't know, I ain't really know he had an album out either. I'm not really, I don't listen to his shit. But then I was on Facebook and seen somebody posted this like, uh, this all these memes about like Logic dropped an album. Uh, I'm gonna give you all the breakdowns of the songs. So you don't gotta go listen to it, and it was funny. It was just all about bars. Like he talks about him being biracial and him being black and white a lot. Nobody cares. Yeah, you don't look like you embrace your black side. So, mm. yeah, man. So I don't listen to Logic. So what was the donkey of the day for? Cause he had said some shit about. It. I ain't really want to repeat the donkey of the day and shit. Cause this ain't the Breakfast Club, but. I'll play it if you want me to. Let me play it. I mean, you said it, so I don't know what the point of it is in making it or like. Uh, what was the point of me mentioning that? Well, I was just talking about his album release. That's the only thing I heard about his album was he got donkey today. Well, he got donkey today because of what he said in the song. He said some shit about how Charlemagne only he gets paid off of uh, uh, like shock value and shit like that. And then he said he called them. He called him gay or some shit one time or some shit. I don't know. Some other shit. Nigga just coming for Charlemagne? Yeah, man. <laughs> that nigga must not want an interview on the Breakfast Club. Oh, yeah. Now, he said that, too. He was like, I always skip y'all when I do my little media runs and whatever, so I don't really fuck with Charles anyways. And they was like, yeah, we ain't really had nobody talk about having you up here anyway, so it don't really matter. Yeah. So that's logic. It's way more time than I wanted to give him. 
Okay. What else? Yeah, I think that's, that's kind of all I got on my list right now. Any, anything else? My niggas checked out. Huh? Hey, how, how about Houston losing them? Checked out, bro. You guys got checked out? I'm checked Houston. out. Talk about I'm checked out too, bro. We can do a playoff. We can do playoffs. We'll get to the playoffs. Boston in six. Boston in six. <laughs> we got a we got a rep we got our we got our local uh Boston Celtics uh representative uh, Sean niggas Dot here. Niggas, niggas here. Yes. What about <laughs> what do you have to say about uh performance you, bro, in the playoffs from your team? Yeah, we have some issues, bro. We had some issues with team building and chemistry and both of my teams style. Okay. Unity, unity, unity. What do you think is the root cause of those issues? Huh? What are the root causes of those issues in your opinion? Gordon coming back and Kyrie coming back. So you think they should get rid of Gordon and Kyrie? Well, you kind of can't get rid of Gordon. You probably can keep him Gordon because you have to. You got to uh, keep him. But I mean, keep him because he fits the system. Because you got to pay Kyrie, him. Kyrie, if you're going to play within the system, stay. If you're not, then part ways, and I ain't gonna be mad about it. So you want Kyrie to change the way he plays? No, just fit the system. He doesn't fit the system, though. I mean, you can fit the system, and then when, when you're called upon, be called upon. But fit the system. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> so you want him to fit the system for 38 minutes, and then the last, the last two, you want him to. Well, There's a lot more strategic ways than to fit the system to 38 minutes, and then the last two minutes. There's, there's way more strategic ways to fit the system than the first 38 minutes and the last two minutes. Explain. How, how would you tell them to fit the system? Oh, my fucking God, bro. Oh, you don't want to get into it? You don't want to talk? movement, bro. Kyrie dribbles the ball a lot. He doesn't like to play off the ball. But, I mean, the way we play, you got to play off the ball and on the ball. Okay. He's really ball dominant is what I'm saying, man. So you fix the Kyrie thing, I mean, and I'm not. I'm not saying he's not a great point guard. He's great to have. It's gonna suck to lose him. It's great. It sucks that it didn't work out. Mm-hmm. But, but. So you think you're gonna lose him? Huh? You think you're gonna lose him? Yeah. I, th- I don't think he stays. I don't, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think people want him, and I don't think he wants to stay. Okay. Uh, so then he leaves this summer, and then what happened? What do What do y'all do now? Who do you go get? Do you sign Terry Rozier? Do you try to still go get the point guard? Well, you get AD. See what you can go get. You see what you can get. Uh, you got to retain Terry Rozier. Uh, I don't know who else contract is up, but you know you got to re- retain them core players, of course. Okay. Cool. With the with the Bucks versus Boston series, they just was healthy. Last time we played them, they had no Middleton. You had to make you on the shoot, but now it's shoot now. Apparently. I can hear. Apparent fucking week, so they pulled it off. Eric Bledsoe wasn't going for the for Terry Rogier. You know, Terry Rogier killed Bledsoe last year. Mm-hmm. This year he wasn't going. Came with it. So okay. All right, cool. Uh what other series? So the Warriors and uh no, you don't wanna we don't wanna go sports? I do. I Something must have happened though. Huh? Two hours. It's not you two know, hours. What else you want to do? Indian tacos ain't ready yet, bro. It's not two hours. His phone is dead, bro. You you know the vibe. He's trying. It's one hour. What's the last thing you Yeah, man. No, it ain't, motherfucker. All right. In the south, man. In the south. Home, Close us out. It better be entertaining too, nigga. Ladies and gentlemen, this has never been another episode of you deal with a freestyle from the rap. Freestyle, can I get a beat? Put a beat on. Put a beat on. Freeway, no, nigga, rap. Plus, nigga, this beat right there. Just need a beat, bro. The beat right there. This Ain't them the beats. Beat, you need a beat. I just need a beat. You want me a freestyle? I got a beat for you. You, you, you give me a beat. Yeah. All right, but yeah, man, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another podcast episode. This is episode tw- 21, you know, so thanks, thanks, thanks for our guests, Mackie Dave, Breon, Cool Keem, A Mike, Sean, B Mike, I'm LA and I'm C Mike, y'all be blessed, have a good one, can I get some round of applause or some shit, let me get a nice intro. What's in it?
Bro, it's all good, bro. We didn't, we couldn't, you couldn't get the beat in time. Peace. Thanks for having me, y'all. Keep the round of applause going for our guest today, man. Mackie Dave, you got to come back next week, man. You want to come back next week? Yeah, I'll come back anytime, man. Anytime. All right, man, let's come back next week, man. All right, Breon, you too, man. Round, round of applause for Breon, our return guest. You know. We thank you for coming. Always a pleasure. Pause. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we about to go uh, get some Indian tacos. <laughs>